coming out of college as I was graduating. I think that was around the time uh, the Trayvon Martin hearing uh, happened, um, the, the murder happened. And uh, that really affected me a lot. So that, that started me into a, uh, just a path of just self-discovery um, and just what is my place, um, my, my black body, um, how, how do I see myself in the world? Um, how do I understand myself and how do I articulate my understanding and my feelings that I've been having for a long time. So it was very much self-discovery, uh, self-identity. Um, and I found that through books. I found that through a lot of uh, readings, James Baldwin, James McBride, uh, being introduced to ta Coates. Um, those were huge influence to me influences to me and it was the beautiful struggle and the color of water that really allowed me to see myself as a character um, allowed me you know myself my story my skin to be identified in 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 uh work whether it be nonfiction, fiction um and that was my the first time that i had ever experienced anything like that and that that self identity allowed me allowed me to just continue to search, and uh, it was the warmth of other signs that allowed me to begin to search for my uh, the history of my family, um, something that has been important to me for a very long time. Love my family very close to them, but there was a lot of stories that were untold, um, and. Uh, my grandmother had passed probably about seven or eight years prior. And it was just a lot of things that was unsaid and a lot of questions that I had. And um, I just, at that time, began to ask those questions because I was uh, just reading about a lot of people who I identified with and identified with my and my family story. And um, long behold, I ended up taking a class at the Hugo House and uh, the, the teacher at the Hugo House was asking me some really probing questions. And those questions had to do with my own identity and just stories about my past and me as a young boy. And um, yeah, I began to, to write for the first time about those things and began to think about my, my grandmother's history even deeper um, as well. And it was like this back and forth dance where I would think about myself. I would think about my family and just think about like how I connected with this bigger story of my family or this bigger picture of my family. And, um, that was really impactful in my class at the Hugo house. So it was the, the reading that I was doing that was, um, very influential and then my class at the Hugo house that just took me off and just allowed me to to find a lot of purpose during that time and find a way to finally hone everything that I had been feeling and everything that I had saw and experienced um, coming from Indianapolis Indiana and yeah it just gave me this this outlet that I that I never dreamed of having